Hey guys, so check this out. The Midnight 150 is finally up and running. Um, took me two or three hours sweating as hell. Uh, it was hot, but uh, good thing it's up and running. So first thing I did was I modified this Midnight box. Um, stock, you only have four uh, slot for the uh, breaker and the double, two of the double one, it's for the um, the, the two big array that comes into this uh, MPP. So there wasn't a slot, so I had to cut that out um, and then add um, another slot so that I can put the um, PV shot off for the midnight. So like I said, for the panel that's the side for the water heater, uh, I hooked it up to this uh, charge controller here. Uh, this midnight 150, and look what I've been missing for so long. A thousand watts. So it's about 12 o'clock right now, noontime, and it's pumping out a thousand watts. Normally, uh, if I have this tied to the water heater, normally what happened right now is that by this time, the water heater is already at uh, uh, 150 uh, Fahrenheit degrees, so it just shuts off and it does nothing for the rest of the day. So that's how much I've been wasting. And it's probably gonna stay like this until like three or four o'clock. So that's four hours of a thousand watts. So that's like four to five kilowatts wasted a day. Um, so I'm hoping that now I can uh, pump this and it will go straight into the battery. And as you can see, my big uh, three ton air conditioner is running right now. So this uh, 10 panels of uh, 290 watts. And then here's another 10 panels. So this one's doing 1 1.8 kilowatts. Um, and then this one's doing another uh, 1.8 kilowatts. So between the two of them, they're running the air conditioning right now. And if you take take a look at the midnight shot, and then this is another thousand watts here. Um, so I'm have I have coming in right now around I would say 38, 38 or uh, 3,700. Yeah, around 3,700 watts coming in right now. And normally, uh, when my air condition is running, I'm still I, I pull power from the battery. But look at it right now, positive number. Um, even with the three-ton air conditioner going, I'm still pumping 9.4 amps into the battery. So I'm not using anything out of the battery at all, and um, I'm actually pumping a little bit more power, about uh, another four or five hundred watts into the battery itself and my battery right now is at 62 volts and so it's almost it's close to being full so it's probably at about maybe 70 percent um, as some of you may know i run on the 16 cell um, chevy volt battery so i only charge i was only able to charge to a max of 64 volts because that's the maximum that these two charge controller and inverter can handle is maximum 64 volts now that's why I have to be careful that I can set my midnight at a max 64 volt as well so it won't overcharge it and then it won't put um, these two inverter into protection mode. But yeah, everything is so far looking good. So I have, I am going, I will paint it a new um, back bore. Um, just so you see I'm a little bit short on space here. So I'm gonna have to put the reliable 60 volt reliable inverter on the top here. So that's how I'm going to get my 120 volts that I can use uh, to power the fridge and other things in the winter time when the air conditioner is not using. So I'm going to add that in probably tomorrow. So I will post another video, but uh, look at that. Uh, 1.8 kilowatts on this one, 1.8 kilowatts on this one, and then another kilowatts on this right now. So I'm uh, pulling in uh, quite, uh, quite a bit of power. Anyway, stay tuned, and if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.